Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to create a word scramble game in PowerPoint. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and to like this video. And of course, go over to my Facebook page and follow and like me there. Let's get started. So what is a word scramble game? So essentially, you, are, you give the child a scrambled up word, so the letters are in different places, and you give them a certain timer to try and figure out what the word is. And through PowerPoint, I created a timer and a transition, so you can see the timer going all the way down, to the alarm and then the change of the word to the real word or the unscrambling of that word i'll show you so one simple click the timer will go down it's about a five second timer i believe and there'll be three rings to the alarm and at the end the unscrambled word will change the real word which is bed and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can do that and how you can do it for any single word you want to focus on with your child to get started, all you need to do is open up PowerPoint, go to a new presentation, and we're simply just going to get rid of these boxes. If you simply just click them and then press delete, they'll disappear. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a long rectangle with a border to be our timer. So we're going to go to Insert, Shapes, Rectangle. We're just going to draw a nice long rectangle like that. You can make it as thin or thick as you want, doesn't matter. And then here I'm going to change the color to my orange that I like. One click there changes the whole thing to orange and now I'm going to put a border around it now you could go to shape format and shape outline but that will disappear when the timer is going and I want the border to stay where it is so what I'm going to do is click this once I'm going to press ctrl C which copies it and then ctrl V to paste it now I've got two rectangles this rectangle here I'm going to click on this downward arrow come all the way down to here that means it's going to give it a black border and a transparent background. So I'm going to click it once. Now, clicking back onto the rectangle, I'm going to go to shape outline, weight, go down to about four and a half points of weight. See how the border is now a lot thicker. And I'm simply going to drag that over the top like that. Now you've got a border and then when the orange disappears, the border will stay the same. Our next job is to get a transparent clock that we're going to make move when the alarm is going off. So insert, pictures, online pictures, um, clock should be fine. If not, I might have to put in cartoon clock. There's the one I like. Click it once, press insert, and it'll pop up. You need to get rid of the license at the bottom. Just click it once and press delete. Click on the clock drag it from the side to resize it and then you can put it i prefer it so i might have to move some of these to go inside of the clock like that it just looks a bit nicer um so now we've got a clock we've got the timer we now need to put the chalkboard to where our word is going to sit on and again just go to insert pictures online pictures and i think i just put in whiteboard to get this which sounds a bit ridiculous but it did come under, under whiteboard or was it a cartoon whiteboard i know it's a blackboard but um it comes under there so if you just type in cartoon whiteboard it'll pop there click it once click insert obviously it'll come up quite big I'm just going to resize it into your happy might make it a little bit bigger because you have quite a bit of room to deal with it's not that big perfect so you're going to let it kind of sit in the middle like that. So now I've got the three bits of uh, objects I'm going to be using and dealing with. I'm now going to create the word so that way I can just copy and paste each time. So I'm going to go to insert, text box, draw a text box over the, over the chalkboard or whiteboard. I'm then going to write the first one's EDB, which again I'm going to make it to bed. If you click on the center button or control E or pop it in the middle, you're then going to go to shape format. I'm then going to click the downward arrow here. I'm going to click on the top one here. Press Control A to highlight the text. I'm going to go back to home. And here I'm just going to increase the size. So it's nice and big like that. And of course now I'm going to highlight it again. Click on the little S which means it's going to put a shadow behind it. I'm then going to go to the color of it, font color, click down and click white. 
and there is the unscrambled word. We now also need to copy this, so click it so it's got all the points around it. Press Control C and Control V, which just means to copy and paste it. And here, I'm going to drag it to the side so I can see it, if it's going to let me. And I'm going to type in bed. And for this one, we need it so it goes behind. Okay, oh, it doesn't actually matter. It means we need it to go there. So it's nice and on top of each other. And the last thing I need to do is I need to go back to insert, pictures, online pictures. And I'm going to put in bed or cartoon bed. And that's going to appear when the word bed appears. That's fine there. Going to drag this down. I'm going to have to delete the license as well. So I'm going to do that straight away, not delete the whole picture. Um, I'm going to delete the license there. Click it once, press delete, click back on the picture, drag it that way, and we're going to resize it until we're happy. And I think I am. Perfect. Just going to lift this one up just a little bit higher. If you click on it and use the arrow keys, it uses much finer movements. Perfect. Now we're ready to start animating our display. So the first bit of animation we need to do is animate the orange bar to slowly and gradually go down until it finishes. So I'm simply just going to click on the orange like that. I'm then going to go to animations. I'm just going to click on animation pane, which basically is going to pop up on the on the right here and that shows me all the order of the animations I'm going to be using. So for this one we want it to exit from the slide. So we're going to click on this downward drop down menu here. We're then going to exit and we want it to wipe like that. At the moment it's wiping from the bottom to the top. We need to change it so it goes from this side to that side. We then go to more effects and then from left. Oh, from right I should say, like that. At the moment, it's going very fast. Okay, it's going half a second. So we need to go up to duration up here. We need to put come across like this. And here I'm going to put 5.00. That means it's going to go for five seconds. And if I showed you, if you click it once and press play, play from, it will play you the animation. As you can see, the black bar stays the same and it takes five seconds. So that piece of animation was very, very easy to do and it's done now. The second piece of animation is getting the clock to move from side to side once the timer has completed. So I'm going to click on my clock, go to animations. I'm going to go down to the drop down menu here. I'm then going to go to emphasis and I want it to teeter. That means you're going to go from one side to the other. As you can see, it's moving. Now, I also want to do that three times. Okay, I want it to teeter three times. So at the moment, you can tell it's only going once because it's got one box here. So I'm going to right click this, effects options, timings, and we want it to repeat three times. And then you're going to click OK. As you can see now, there are three orange boxes, meaning it's going to do that three times. We also want it to only do that when the timer has completed. So we need to make sure that animation starts after this animation. So I'm going to right click it, start after previous, like that. So if I showed you, if you click on the top one and press play, play from, the bar is going all the way down. And then when it hits it, the clock will move and teeter three times. The next bit of animation to do is actually add a sound to the clock. So when it moves three times, it offers a sound three times. It's really easy to do. We're just going to go to insert. We're going to go across to audio and audio from my computer. This is an audio sample that I got online and I'll show you where I got it from in the description below. So audio on my PC. Go to where you saved it and hit it's a chime. I'm going to press insert. So it will pop on your screen like a little speaker. So if you hear it now, it only plays one chime. We want that to be three times. So I'm going to click it once. Animation. And we're going to go to cross to my animation chime here where the pane is. Right click it. Effects options. Timing. We want to repeat three times just like the clock and press OK.
perfect. We want this to go off at the same time as the clock is moving. So we're gonna right click it, start with previous. As you can see, it's now lined up to start at the same time. I'm then gonna drag this over here. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna send back, just like that. That means it's out of the way and hidden behind the camera. The next step is to animate the scrambled up words to disappear once the timer has finished. So I'm just going to drag these ones out of the way for the time being, just so we can see it's a little bit easier. I'm then going to click on the scrambled word, make sure the dials are surrounding it. And then go to animation and we want it to exit. So we're going to go to fade, click it once, and that's there it's fading. However, we need to make sure it only fades after the previous animation. So go back to your animation pane, right click text box, start after previous. I also want there to be a slight delay between the end of the alarm to the start of it fading, which is really easy to do. You just right click it and you're going to go to timing delay and we're just going to give it a 0 0.5 seconds delay and we're going to click OK. So now if I go to the top and click play from, it's going to do the animation of the bar first all the way down until it hits the clock and then it's a 0 0.5 second delay and then the scrambled up word fades. So the last bit of animation we need to do is make sure that the bed and the picture of the bed appear after the scrambled up word disappears. So I'm going to click on the word bed first, make sure the dials are surrounding it. And we need to go to animations again, drop down menu, and we need to make sure it's entering. So entrance, and we're going to click on fade, like that. We want that to start after the previous animation. So we're going to right click it on our animation pane, start after previous. We're now going to click on the picture of the bed, make sure the dials are surrounding it, go to animations, and we're going to click fade, so it fades in. And in addition, we want to right click it and we're going to start with, that means it's going to appear at the same time as the word bed does as well. And we're going to go to the top and we're going to click play from. So at the moment, obviously the bar is going down, we're going to hear the three teeters and sounds. five second delay, and then perfect. All we now need to do is drag this so it fits on top of the scrambled up word. Drag the bed until the position you want it to be in. And then we can show it from the start. So if I go to my PowerPoint slideshow display, which is right at the bottom here, I'm gonna click it once, and you can see what it might look like from start to finish. So one click of the mouse button or a keyboard stroke, the timer will go down and it changes. It's as easy as that. And obviously it will stay in this presentation view for as long as you want to, unless you then click to end the slideshow. If you wanted to do lots of words, you're now in a position to get it done really easily because simply right clicking this preview section here and duplicating the slide, all you need to do is change the letters and the pictures and the animations will also stay the same. It's as simple as that guys, you now have an opportunity to have quite a few animations and if I showed you the one I did earlier, it has a multiple, multiple of animations and I'll show you from the top to start to finish to show you what it could look like. So again this is bed, uh, one click and it will start the animation for the entire sequence. So there's bed, I click my keyboard again, it'll then start a new one and it'll do exactly the same. All I did was change the letters, which is red. And again, all I did here is just change the letters and included a new picture. And there it is. So this is an opportunity for you to do this at home. It's very easy to do. On my Facebook page, I've got another example of it on, over there. And I've done a live stream recently if you wanted to look at that version of it, of it as well.
thank you so much for watching guys i do really appreciate it and i'll catch you all next time